Hey guys, it's Allie and I am back today with another video. This video is going to be all about how I edit my Instagram pictures and how to use my Lightroom presets and we're going to go over all my presets and I'm going to show you guys what they look like, how you can use them and hopefully it gives you a better idea of what those are in case you're interested in them and this is also going to be a tutorial on how to download them and use them on your photos. Before we get started, if you don't know who I am or you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Allie Schweitzer. You should go follow me if you don't because this video will make a lot more sense if you have seen my Instagram feed. So I first want to explain what a Lightroom preset is. So a preset is basically a filter that's used in the Lightroom app. The Lightroom mobile app is free and then you can download presets to use. A good preset will work on any photo in any kind of lighting. Of course, they look better on photos in good lighting. They will work on any kind of skin tone. They will work on any kind of hair color. If you are a different ethnicity, the presets may do different things to your skin tone. If it's lightening your skin and you don't like that, it's a super easy fix. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. Someone tried to call me. It was my dad. My car is in the shop because it broke today. The link to my presets is going to be in the description box below and there's also going to be a coupon down there that's going to work for 24 hours and I'll share the coupon on my Instagram so if you follow me on there um, you shouldn't miss it. Go down there to the link. I think this website works best on a desktop but you can also use your cell phone. If you're on my Instagram this is linked in my bio right here. You just click on this this links you to my website and then you click my presets and then it will take you to Gumroad. So on here, you can just scroll through and look at all the presets. My newer ones are at the top and my older ones are at the bottom. And then you can click on whichever one you're interested in and you'll be able to look out before and afters on some of my pictures. And you can read about the preset. All my presets have a little description, kind of tells you what kind of pictures they look best on. And then it just gives basic instructions on how to download them and upload them in your Lightroom and use them. So once you download them, they're gonna be in your camera roll like this. They're gonna be just little gray square and then you can just click this little thing and send them right to your Lightroom app. So when you go to your Lightroom and this is what they will look like. It will be a picture of me. It will have the presets name on it so you can find it easy and then it will say DNG in the corner. So what you want to do is you want to click on the picture. If you tap it and hold down it'll go to the before and the after. So you come up here to these three little dots and then you click create preset and you're able to name it. You can name it the name I've already given it like this one's called natural beauty or you can name it whatever you want. So then you name it and you click the this little arrow. So then when you go to your photo, you will scroll over here to presets and that preset will be saved in here and then you can just go to wherever you named it and it will go right on your photo just like that. So it's super easy. That's just kind of how you download them and use them. But now I'm going to show you a little bit about each one. So this is my newest preset called Peachy Keen and I love this one. It gives your skin like a really nice like orange peachy color but it's not like too orange and I'll also show you guys how to adjust that and then any greens or blues it will desaturate those and it kind of makes the sky like a light blue or like a grayish like I feel like it's very airy I don't know if that makes sense so I will show you what it looks like on some photos so this is what it looks like on this picture this picture is unedited and as you can see the before and after like it makes my skin way tanner like I'm super white in this picture um <laughs> super pale and it makes me like bronzed and orange and tan so this will work on any skin tone um you might think since i'm really white in this picture and it makes me really dark that if you have dark skin it will make you like way too dark but it won't do that so if it does make your skin too dark or too orange or you just don't like the way your skin looks you're gonna want to go down here and go to color this is a super easy fix come to mix and then you're going to want to go to the orange color and you can slide this saturation down. You can take or add orange and then you can take the luminance. And if you bring the luminance up, that's what's going to make you more white. And if you bring the luminance down, that is what's going to make you more tan. That's how you fix a skin tone if you don't like it. Okay, so let's look at another picture. It's so cute. These pictures are from so long ago. I love clicking the before and after. It's one click and you are literally good to go. So enough about that one. So then my next preset is called Natural Beauty. Obviously, the Natural Beauty one is more natural. It complements all the colors. doesn't desaturate anything. It makes everything a little more bright and vibrant. It keeps your skin very natural. But it's really customizable. So I will show you what it looks like so this is what the natural one looks like on this photo as you can see kind of makes me a little more tan just gives it a little pop but it's still like very similar to the original this one with the natural it doesn't really change the colors much it makes my skin a little more tan but it does make that blue really vibrant which is usually what i want for a photo but for this one the sky was already really blue that day so it kind of made it too blue so what i'd go do is go to the mix 
I'd go with the blue, bring that saturation back down just a little bit for this photo. Here's a selfie. Let's do a natural. I like the natural on selfies and stuff like that. It doesn't really do much. Kind of makes my skin warmer. So then we have Bright Babe, which again is very similar to my natural preset. I kind of describe it in the same way. It complements all the colors, makes them bright and vibrant, gives your skin tone like a warm, glowy look to it um but this is just like a little more dramatic and less natural so this is what i currently use on instagram if you go to my feed all my recent pictures are edited with bright babe as you can see it brought up the shadows a bunch it just like lightens my face if that blue makes it super teal so here is this photo with the natural preset on it so as you can see there is a big difference between the natural and the bright babe they're a little similar but very different add bright babe it makes that red really pop then we have this picture and i really like this one with bright babe on it it just really brings up the shadows makes it brighter more vibrant then the next preset i'm going to talk about is my teal and orange one a couple people had asked me for it and i know like everyone loves the teal and orange snapchat filter i would say that this preset is like the least likely to work on every photo it does look okay on anything but it doesn't look great on everything it mainly looks good on pictures obviously with lots of blues and lots of oranges so any kind of picture with lots of blue sky will look really good or if you're wearing orange it's a little tricky because sometimes it makes your skin too orange and sometimes it makes your lips really orange so i'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick if they are too orange or too teal for you you can easily turn that down as you can see in this picture the house is blue in the background and the sky is very blue and then i'm wearing orange pants so this is the kind of picture that the teal and orange preset would look best on this is kind of making the picture a little bit too teal i'm going to turn that down so you can go to color come to the blue and then i'm gonna just take the saturation down down a tiny bit more than the orange if it's too orange for you you can bring that saturation down or you can bring that saturation up here's a before and an after i'll show you how to fix your lips so here's the selfie with teal and orange on it and as you can see makes my skin kind of orangey but it also makes my lips orange which i don't like that because it kind of blends in with your face so to fix that you're going to want to zoom in on your lips and then go to the selective tool you're going to get a brush here go to color you know bring up some pinks bring up the saturation a little bit and then you're just gonna basically like color your lips and then you can adjust. Let's see, we're gonna bring up the pinks all the way. There you go. Now your lips are kind of back to a darker color and they stand out off your skin and they don't blend in. So then we have the Dark Madness preset. It obviously gives like a more a darker, a moodier aesthetic. It turns down the exposure, gives it a darker look kind of a matte look and it gives like a warm tone to your skin enhances blues and reds and then it desaturates yellows and green i will show you what that looks like this is a really good example because it has a lot of those colors in it so if we go to presets we go to dark madness you can see it made it pretty dark i am going to turn the exposure back up a tiny bit on this one here's the before and after that yellow bench is desaturated now here's this picture from colorado here is this with dark madness on it so as you can see, it makes that red really pop. And then here is this one. This one looks really good on summer pictures. Then I have two more presets and they are called Vintage Icon and Retro Classic. These are like my first two presets, but I was using Retro Classic for a long time on my Instagram. It was the first preset like I ever used on my page, but we're gonna do the Retro Classic one first. It complements the colors red and blue again, but it doesn't make them like super bright and vibrant, but those colors do stand out in this preset. It desaturates yellows and green here is retro classic on this selfie as you can see makes my red shirt pop here is this one with retro classic here is another selfie very like yellowish but it has a cool look to it i feel like it's very retro kind of desaturates the colors but it still leaves that red there as you can see like that yellow in that picture is totally gone lastly we have a vintage icon it's very warm it still enhances reds and it changes the hue of blue and then it desaturates all other colors so this is my favorite picture with vintage icons and then we have this one i'm kind of in a little retro outfit here again here is a before and after here is this one of me in front of the school buses it changes that blue color desaturates the yellow so those were all my presets hopefully that gives you a better idea on how to use them how they work what they are and what they look like if you have any questions about them feel free to message me on instagram i reply to all my dms so go follow me on there. If you guys want to see what one of these presets or all of them 
um, look like on your picture. You message me on Instagram. I'll have you email that photo to me and I will put that preset on it and send it back to you. I also just wanted to thank everyone that's purchased a preset, um, whether you have come from TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. I really appreciate the support. I love seeing your guys' photos edited with my presets. It's just so cool to know that like I created that and that people are enjoying using it and are creating like super cool feeds with it and everyone has like their own little unique style with them and I just love it. So if you have one of my presets or if you go buy one and you use it, please tag me in your photos or message them to me or hashtag like Ali Switzer presets whatever. I would love to see them and I love sharing them on my story. I think that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I love you lots.